Welcome to another video from Guaylao 60. I'm here in the in the high speed train station in Guayang, Guayzo province. And uh, I've got I've got uh, a suitcase, a backpack, six liters of uh, craft beer, and uh, I'm ready for oh and a first class ticket from Guayang to Nanning. Five hour trip. Not sure how many kilometers it is. So come along on this ride. You'll see Guaylao drinking full liter craft beers and uh, hanging out in first class. Yeah, I'm going first class today. Let's go for a trip. Well, they let you out onto the platform 15 minutes before the train comes here. So everybody's sitting here waiting for the train because the train only stops for like a couple of minutes. So either you're here at that time or you get left behind. They've got, I think, seven tracks here in, in uh, Guayang. So uh, when you go, and I noticed this, so when you leave the city, there's crisscrossing bridges in, in areas where there's like seven different bridges going different directions. So the infrastructure here is freaking amazing, guys. Like, seriously, if the rest of the world had infrastructure like China, life would be better over there. High speed trains cross a country in a day. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't need the, the planes. What did they say? What did they say on uh, a news flash that I saw the other day where the Americans think that Chinese infrastructure, because it's dedicated infrastructure, high speed trains are the wrong way to go. They, they say airplanes and cars, you can drive there. Well, there's a polluting thing, everybody in their own car. But anyway, I'm gonna wait for the train here, I'm gonna get on it, and then we're gonna start drinking some beer. So here I am on the train. It's a it's a rough life. I, I tell you, you know, uh, living in China, we're probably going I don't know 150 kilometers an hour. We just got started here. I've got six of these puppies. Yes, that's a 990 milliliter German flavored Carlsberg beer. Yeah, I know. hours on the train and that'll take me to Nanning right to the subway station so for another I think five RMB it is it takes me to within a block of my home so from Guiyang to a block from my home could life get any better guys you know I love my life right first class would be nicer than this it's sort of like I don't know, business class or first class in an airplane where you don't really get a lot more, you get a lot more space. Um, you definitely don't have a bunch of children screaming and running up and down the halls like the, you do in economy. The Chinese trains are uh, more like a community traveling from one point to another. But uh, a lot of this video is going to be me showing you the topography and the areas around China. So you're probably wondering, what's the difference between first class and economy? Well, for one thing, we've got a little bit bigger seats. Yes. And we have an automatic door that if, you, if you're leaving 
the compartment, the door opens up for you. The people in the economy don't have that. Poor guys, you know what I mean? But now we're in the economy, so it doesn't seem that much difference, except for the price for this trip between economy and first class was 284 RMB compared to 455 RMB. So when you when you look at something like that, well, it's a big deterrent to take first class. There's three people on this side, two people on this side. The first class is two and two, so you do have a lot more space. And this is something that happens all the way through the train is uh, they, they check your temperature just to make sure that nobody on the on the train has a temperature. It's safety before, well, safety before anything. You can actually tell when you get into Guangxi Autonomous Region because, oh man, it's freaking beautiful. Like seriously, look at this.